In this video, I'll be talking about Sakai. Sakai is the interface through which you and your instructors interact with. So if your instructor wants to post um, some sort of worksheet that he wants you to work on, uh, it'll probably end up being on Sakai and you can download the link from there unless otherwise specified. Sakai is also where you, um, where your professors might send emails, but only to their specific part of Sakai. So I'm just gonna tell you how to get there. Um, one of the simplest ways to get there is to just type in mdanderson.org slash Sakai. The address will change because it, um, the link here is, is uh, yeah, the, the thing that I typed in is a target for a different link. So I guess you could also type this in and it would work as well. So what you do is just type in your uh, ID that you use for uh, MD Anderson. You'll get this ID on the second week. It won't be the same one that you use for MyUTH. Again, this will not be the same username and password that you use for MyUTH. This is going to be a different username and password that's linked with MD Anderson. And this username and password will also be used to access Wi-Fi on the MDA mobile Wi-Fi channel. So you'll get your uh, user ID and password at some point in the first or second week. And so you'll type that stuff in and then you just click on login. And this is how it might look like. So um, what you'll probably have is either nothing or a bunch of tabs. So I'm going to open up some old tabs I had from last year just so I can show you how things work. So these are my, all my old tabs that I had. Sorry, that's my phone going off. Let me silence that. Okay. Um, so here I'll throw in mm, medical genetics, uh, a lab, this class. Okay. That's about good enough. So after you yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell you how to mess with preferences later. So here's how it might look like when you log in. Um, so you just click on any of these tabs, and that tab belongs to that specific class. Um, and right here you can see all the different things that will be available from this class. Um, from class to class, these tabs right here, or these little links right here, will change. So for instance, I go over here, they're all named differently. I believe when you make when like your instructor makes this their own Sakai tab, it all of this will change depending on how they named it. So here we have medical genetics, and uh, you can click a uh, syllabus tab, and you can just click this; it'll download. Um, some uh, instructors will keep up with the schedule, so and and they'll they'll fill in uh, things you have to turn in right here, and it'll show up on your main calendar as well. Um, uh, th most these right here, most of them are usually in some shape or form also on the other Sakai tabs. Um, announcements, um, these are pretty useful. They'll, they're kind of like, uh, they kind of tell you like, you know, hey guys, don't forget about this. There's something that you have to do. Or, um, hey, I just changed this. So, uh, please take a look at this and, uh, then turn it in. Stuff like that. Um, see there's stuff like bonus quizzes. So... It's also worth checking out. All the other tabs usually have this. And one of the most important things on all the tabs that's similar across all of them is a thing called course materials. This is where your instructor will upload all of their files that they want you to look at. So here, um, uh, this instructor posted a bunch of stuff to all kinds of things. Uh, things that will help you or things that are important, like test reviews. So um, that's that. Uh, tests and quizzes, uh, maybe this is the most important one, but this is where your instructors will post all of their um, assignments you have. So your assignments will t end up right here, and um, yeah, that's, uh, that's really about it. The assignments will end up right here, and um, you'll click on them, and you'll be able to take them, and the assignments will end up down here. And you can are able to have uh, feedback on the exams. I'm not going to click on any of these because I'm not going to spoil some of the questions you might have. Um, 
yeah, so you can click on feedback and you'll see how you did on each question or depending on how the settings change for each uh, class, um, they might be different. Gradebook, it will just show you, um, usually it'll show you, uh, flat out what you have for that class. Well, obviously you can see what I had in this class. I got a B plus. Okay, good enough. Uh, obviously not, but of course I'd like an A, but that's what I got. So this will show you all of your course grades over the year. Okay, uh, discussion board. Some classes use this. It's kind of like a forum board. Um, that's really about it. So for each homework, people posted their stuff about what they thought or if they needed help. Um, roster. I, this is just not really used. I'm not sure what it's all about. Email. This is kind of important. Um, let's see. Um, all of the messages. The, the, see this email is separate from announcements. So you will receive an announcements and then sometimes you'll have to click on this um, thing right here and it'll take you to just this tab's email. Each tab has a separate email inbox. So be very sure to check every single one of your instructor's emails. Um, but besides that, um, this is what it'll look like. And you just click on it, look at it, etc. cetera. Um, assignments, some people post their uh, homeworks here. Um, and I think for this instructor, they just wanted us to do the assignment and then uh, turn in what answers we had as like the quiz. It was kind of weird, but that's how it worked. So that's how Sakai tabs work in general. Um, each Sakai tab, as I said, is, is different. So yeah, but from, from what I said in general, that's all the tabs that you'll probably have. Uh, there is a thing called Dropbox. It's kind of where you would up upload your assignments to the teacher so that they can see it. But I think they can also uh, put stuff in here. But see right here, this is kind of the stuff I turned in. Um, so that's what Dropbox is. Let's see. Yeah. So this person had it named messages and this person had it named email. Yeah, everybody has it a little different. Yeah. So keep an eye out for um, all these different types of things that, that your teacher would put on here. Um, because e each teacher does it their own little way. And see, now it's changed back to email. Uh, I guess they name it whatever they see fit. Um, I'm sure there are default names for all of these um, when when the professor makes their own Sakai tab, um, but sometimes they'll change it. So, yeah, you what it, it's highly recommended to go through each tab that you'll ever have and look at every single one and uh, see what function they serve. Um, another thing would be to go through each of your instructor's uh, mailboxes if they have any and check on those as well um, because sometimes they'll post something that's really really important and uh, they'll expect you to be checking your mailbox every day and then they'll expect you to uh, finish something the next by like the next uh, lecture or something and you come in and everyone's working on something and you're totally confused and then all of a sudden you start panicking because you forgot something and of course you did because you didn't check your messages box so make sure you check them it is annoying. It does take a little while, but that's just how Sakai works. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of anything else I could explain right now. Uh, I guess I could explain the preferences. Oh yeah, and in the first semester last year that I had MGT, um, a lot of the instructors posted stuff into their calendars. Like so, a lot of these boxes would be turned up red or blue or something and it would tell me oh you have this assignment due here or this assignment due here so it would take out all the work of having to uh, fill out my own calendar and uh, so I kinda got used to that first semester and then the second semester they didn't really fill it out as much so sometimes I'd look here there'd be nothing when in fact I had tons of stuff to do um, 
So I wouldn't get too dependent on this calendar here. Uh, it is useful um, because sometimes your teacher will post something here that's very important. Um, so make sure to check it, but don't depend on it because it might kick you in the butt later. Um, hmm. Let's go to preferences. This is just kind of uh, fun stuff, I guess. Uh, here you can change a bunch of stuff about how these tabs are arranged. So right here, if you, for instance, move this uh, guy right here, which corresponds to the third one, from so the top down, you get the third one, so it counts one, two, three. Um, you can move it up the list, and when you update it, and then you go home, it'll move it up to the first slot. So that's how that works. Um, and you, I think all of my tabs so far that I've ever had are still in the system. So see, I have stuff, I have stuff here from last year, which is kind of odd. Maybe it's going to erase when school starts officially. But right now, I still have them all. And in fact, when I had spring, I still had 2012 fall stuff. Um, it's a lot of mystery to me. I don't know why it's like that. But I really don't mind that it's still there. Uh, I might need something I had last year. So I'm going to shove all this stuff back here. And I'm going to keep my very valuable SHP tab. Uh, this is a student-made tab, not made by teachers. And it's a really cool tab. Uh, it was made by Megan Denos. Or Dinos. I don't know how she pronounces her own last name. But... Um, here is where a lot of students can come together and talk about anything they want or some like uh, research opportunities or volunteer talk opportunities or questions that they have or ideas for events or if a student congress has already made an event it'll pop up over here and you can it'll actually add to your main calendar as well um, if you get signed up for the uh, SHP tab and what we're going to try to do is to um, get all the rosters for all the different programs and um, place every single student into this tab so that everyone has access to this tab. Because in order for this tab to show up for you, we have to enter your email into the system somehow for this tab from our side. And if we're not, if we don't have your email, um, not just your regular email, like, you know, Yahoo or Gmail, we need your MD Anderson email, which you will get later. Um, if we don't have that in this, system here um, we won't be able to um, th this won't show up for you and you won't get any of these uh, updates or announcements uh, so yeah I would highly recommend if you don't have this to make sure that you ask around for anybody who's in student congress um, so that you do get this uh, it's really cool and we really hope it takes off this year um, because it has a lot of potential uh, besides that, I think that's all I really need to talk about for Sakai. So in the next video, I think I'm going to go over my UTH. You've already used it, but maybe I'll just uh, help some people out who are confused about it. All right, see ya.